six thousand dollars in winnings how do you get something like that in dfs well one hotly debated topic amongst my members and i is how many uniques in nba dfs should you use uniques meaning the consecutive lineups being built and how many unique players are in that lineup from lineup to lineup does that make sense to you if not just stay tuned let's dive in right now in episode two of the golden mike minute We're looking at it right there, $6,200 on DraftKings last night in the jab step. And we're going to go over both the three unique ROF projections and the one unique ROF projections. If you're wondering what is rise or fall, well, I've taken my company's projection sheet. I've gone to the projections copy paste tab from last night. I highlighted them all and I uploaded them directly into Fantasy Cruncher Rewind. That is where we will be able to identify all of these winnings or losings, and we're going to go down the path of how you can get to something like that. I've always said, number one, if you are bankroll building, you're playing lower micro stakes, you're playing lower entries, low buy-ins, smaller contests, by all means, I think one unique, staying as close to the optimal route and projections is the way to go. If you want to start winning tournaments, trying to take them down, I don't think that you can do that. Inherently, if you're going with one unique and you're keeping it close to 0% randomness or whatever the raw projections are for rise or fall, you are going to have a cashier approach because you're going to have all those value plays get used the most in your player pool. Those are the guys that are projected to be a value of 6.8, 7.2. They're going to pop in the optimizer every single time because that's how it's going to work. Now, if you want to try to differentiate from a cashier type player pool, you're going to have to tweak some things. You're going to have to make some price point pivots, which will be our next video. And you're going to have to make some adjustments that are going to play against the field and the ownership of the field. Now, if we rolled out just three uniques last night, you actually end up seeing this return. This is three uniques, completely raw projections. The only thing that I have done is I removed everybody under 20 point projection on DraftKings. I don't want anybody less than 20 points projected. I don't care if they're $3,000 and they're going to get me 19 points. Whoa, that's fantastic. But it's not going to win you a tournament most nights. You need a higher ceiling than that. So I have taken all every single person under 20 point projection and that's it i removed every 20 point or less projection and i left the entire player pool there are no thumbs there are no likes there are nothing on this player pool the advanced settings right here one unique a minimum salary of 49.7 zero percent randomness 100 percent global cap and crunch and boom three uniques and you made six thousand two hundred seven dollars last night in the jab step i have no clue i haven't checked any of this other one looks like 1300 in the excellent eights and we could keep going here's a mini max for anybody who likes to play that looks like 139 dollars profit so you can keep on going down check this out a lot of lineups are cashing now what happens when you use one unique mitch i thought you said that was the building the way to build your bankroll well that's entirely dependent on what your goal is right if you're using one unique well we've talked about this before you got to differentiate a little bit i don't think you can go just raw one unique i think that is where it starts to come into play where you're going to have to get off of some of the chalk or at least pivot a little bit to some of the other types of plays if you don't you're going to end up with a very cash game type result and if this is your goal you can totally do this last night had you entered pure raw projections into DraftKings, thrown in 150 lineups in the minimax at $75 entry and all you did was remove 20 points or less you returned $46 profit not bad you'd be happy with $46 profit but if your goal is to win it is to take it down you're going to have to bump up likely the unique so two maybe three you could keep it at one but then a lot of adjustments should be made uh, like this one. If you're looking at Doncic and you think he's going to be highly owned, but you don't think uh, you want to be eating that type of chalk, well, maybe you do a quick pivot like this. And here's a higher owned player at 10.5K. And you can give Kevin Durant a thumb up. Something like that would have netted probably a lot more Kevin Durant last night when he scored 77 points. And Doncic just sat there at 51 points. You could do the same thing at the same positions. You could look at something like Steph Curry at 9.7K. Thumb down Doncic. Give Curry a thumb up. Well, then 85% Doncic likely gone. And you're going to get a whole lot more in your player pool for other players who might be a better play. Trey Young was on the slate breakers list for a lot of our coaches last night. You give Trey Young a thumb up. And look, I made three little adjustments. I thumbed down Doncic. I thumbed up Durant, a price point pivot, and I thumbed up Trey Young. You could have even, and I'm not even getting Durant, by the way, so don't even worry about it. A simple thumb down on Doncic and a thumb up on Trey Young. Your entire night has changed. You are now cashing. 
slashing 75 of your first 81 lineups and so on and so forth. If you want to make money, if you want to win a tournament, you have to adjust more than this. If you want to make a nice slow bankroll building way, by all means, you can do exactly what I just did with a full, basically a full player pool, minimal tweaks, and you can make money. How does this work over there in FanDuel? Well, my friends, it's even easier over on FanDuel. Last night with the one unique rise or fall projections, you cashed 120. Oh, I didn't even finish the finish that off. Well, I played it last night and I ended up getting, I believe, 137 out of 150 cashed, and I made $245 in the 25 center i finished in 10th place it was raw projections i wanted to put it to task see how it went when you roll out uh let me sort this by actual score actual score last night 422 was the highest for the one unique if you roll out three uniques uh, for the rise or fall projections, the high score is 423. When we sort by the contest over there, we can actually go and see how we would have done. Let's say you're a big baller and you're playing the NBA Slam. 423 score actually would have won it. You would have had two. You would have had the first and second place for $55,000 last night using our raw projections, raw pool, three uniques, nothing else. That's all you had to do, and you would have won both. Here's the clutch shot. This is a massive 198-person tournament. 423 points puts you in 20th place. You would have won $400. Not too shabby. And in the quarters, like I said last night, took 10th place myself. Made uh, 240 It was like $247. I posted it in Discord. It was not bad. Uh, if you are doing this for the course of the season, I have turned micro stakes into a fine way to make money as I have $196 invested into the five center and I have returned $373 in 29 days. In 29 days of NBA in the quarter, I have invested $971 and returned $1,453. The profit there is just around $720, quick math, $720 made doing it this way. Actually, it might be 820. My math is a little off there. Uh, it's around 750, 800 bucks in the first month of trying this. So if you want to join us, you can check us out, teamriserfall.com. Listen, keep your goal in mind. That should be your main takeaway today. Whatever your goal is, should be what you're doing with your player pool. You're trying to bankroll build, trying to make a little bit of money. You just want to make a couple grand over the course of an NBA season. Stick to one unique. Try not to mess around with your player pool too much and go. You're trying to take down a tournament. Yeah, you might want to boost your randomness levels a little bit. You might want to loosen up on the uniques to two, maybe three. And you definitely want to tweak your pool a little bit more than I've shown you this morning. That said, raw projections last night, three uniques. Looks like it ended up being in the top five in the jab step and winning you $6,000. There's no right or wrong way to play DFS. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Every single night is unique, it's different, and it's nothing like the day before. There are trends, there are things that we can identify that we can approach each slate with that in mind, but it doesn't mean you're going to win the next night doing that thing. I think you could pick up on these trends and you can have long-term success if you play to the trends. Follow us along every single day inside Team Rise or Fall, 11.30 a.m., Twitch and YouTube streams, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. I hope you join us as we dive into this stuff a little bit more today. And hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I hope you enjoy the Golden Mike Minute. Take care, my friends.